William, a dusty small town in the American West. The year is 1873, and William is just a young boy. He lives with his family in a small cabin on the outskirts of town. His father is a hardworking rancher who spends most of his days out on the range, while his mother is a kind-hearted woman who does her best to provide for her family. As a child, William's days were spent playing with the other kids in town, going to school, and helping out around the house. He was a curious and adventurous child, always eager to explore the vast and untamed wilderness that surrounded the town. Despite the hardships of living in the West, William's childhood was a happy one. He had a loving family and a tight-knit community of friends and neighbors. However, even at a young age, William knew that life in the West was not easy. The harsh weather, scarce resources, and constant threat of attacks by Native Americans or outlaws made it a dangerous and unpredictable place to live. One day, while playing with his friends, William stumbles upon a strange rock formation in the nearby hills. He climbed up and looked over the view of whole town, the wide prairie, the sky. At that moment, the wind blowing in his hair, he realized that one day, he'll be a cowboy, riding those lands, and protect them. It was a simple and idyllic existence, but one that would be forever changed by the events of the coming years. As William grew older, he began to take on more responsibilities around the ranch. He helped his father with the cattle, learned how to ride a horse, and even started to learn the art of marksmanship. His father saw that William had a natural talent for working with animals and a keen sense for the land. He started to teach him about the ways of the West, showing him the best grazing land, how to read the weather, and how to track and hunt game. Despite his love for the ranch and the land, William was also a curious and inquisitive boy. He spent hours exploring the hills and valleys around the town, discovering new plants, animals, and hidden streams. He loved nothing more than climbing to the top of the highest hills and looking out over the endless expanse of the prairie. Despite the harshness of the west and the dangers that lurked around every corner, William couldn't help but feel a sense of wonder and excitement whenever he was out exploring. He knew that there was so much more to see and do beyond the town and the ranch, and that he would one day have to leave and explore the world beyond. As William grew older, he began to understand the realities of life in the West. He saw firsthand the dangers that the settlers faced from both nature and from hostile native tribes. His father taught him everything he knew about survival in the wild and self-defense. He also knew that one day he would have to leave his childhood home and make a life for himself. As he reached his teenage years, William's father started to talk about his future and what he wanted to do with his life. William knew that one day he would have to make a decision about whether to stay on the ranch and continue working with his father, or to strike out on his own and explore the world beyond. But for now, William was content to spend his days working on the ranch, exploring the wilderness, and dreaming of the adventures that awaited him in the future. As William entered his teenage years, his family began to face difficult circumstances. A severe drought hit the area, making it impossible for the ranchers to keep their cattle alive. With no grass to feed them, many of the ranchers were forced to sell off their herds at a loss or abandon their land altogether. William's family was no exception. They lost most of their cattle and struggled to make ends meet. They were not the only one, the whole town was in a dire situation. Many of the residents of the town were forced to leave in search of a better life. To make matters worse, a gang of ruthless outlaws began to terrorize the town, stealing from the remaining residents and causing chaos. They have no mercy, shooting anyone who dare to stand against them. The local law enforcement was powerless to stop them, and the town was on the brink of collapse. In the face of these difficulties, William's father fell into a deep depression. 
He stopped working and spent most of his days locked in their cabin, drinking and becoming increasingly bitter. William's mother did her best to keep the family together, but she was stretched to her limits. Feeling hopeless and powerless, William became desperate. He saw the suffering of his family and the destruction of his community. He knew that something had to be done, he wanted to protect his loved ones. With no other options, William decided to take matters into his own hands and join the outlaws in order to fight against them and make a name for himself. He knew that this is not a good decision, but he was young and full of energy and anger. William's journey as an outlaw begins as he turns 18, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead in the Wild West. William's decision to join the outlaws came with consequences. He became involved in small crimes, such as cattle rustling, robbing stagecoaches, and robbing the occasional bank, although he always made sure no one was harmed during the robberies. He was determined to use his newfound wealth for the betterment of his community. He anonymously gave money to struggling families and helped with the rebuilding of the town, which was in shambles due to the actions of the outlaws. This caused him to become somewhat of a local hero and the people were grateful for his help. During this time, William met Emma, a young woman from a nearby farm. She was kind, hardworking, and strong-willed and despite the fact that she was from a poor background, she had big dreams and plans to rebuild her farm. They met during one of the rebuilding process, and they started talking and spending time together. As they got to know each other, William realized that he had developed feelings for her. Emma was different from the other women he had met. She was smart, ambitious, and had a kind heart. She understood the hardships that the people in the community were going through and was doing her best to help them. She also showed him a different perspective of life that he never considered before. Despite the fact that he was still an outlaw, William knew that he wanted to be a better person and provide a good life for Emma. He felt guilty for the crimes he had committed and realized that he needed to leave his life of crime behind, if he wanted to be with her. He started to think of a plan for the future, a peaceful one, where he and Emma can build a life together. William knew that he needed to make a lot of money fast in order to provide a better life for Emma and leave his life of crime behind. He had heard that a nearby bank held a large sum of money and decided that robbing it would be his last job. He planned the heist carefully and put together a group of men he could trust. On the day of the heist, things went wrong. They were able to get in the bank and get the money but the alarm was sounded and the sheriff and his men arrived. They exchanged gunfire with the law enforcement. During the shootout, William was shot by Liam the sheriff and died. He was only 22 years old. Emma heard the news of his death and she was devastated. She couldn't understand why he would take such a risk, knowing that there were other ways to get money. But as she read the note that he left her, she understood his decision. He did all of this for her, to give her a better future. Emma was grateful for the love he had for her, but at the same time, she was also heartbroken that he had to die for it. The story ends with Emma, standing by William's grave, holding the note and the money he left for her, crying for the love and sacrifice of the outlaw who once was her love and friend.